Welcome back to Collecting Cars, where you join me here today at Goodwood Motor Racing Circuit for one of the most exclusive events on the motoring calendar, the Loche 2021. In 2019, Veloce won the best emerging event at Octane's International Historic Motoring Awards. The award-winning event hosts just 75 guests and the chance to experience some of the greatest cars ever built in the hands of legendary racing drivers. The driver lineup includes Derek Bell, Damon Hill, Marino Franchetti, as well as Ross Braun, Nick Fry and Jody Kidd. And all this whilst raising money for two great causes, Hope for Tomorrow, which brings cancer care to patients, and the Halo Project, which nurtures young people with learning difficulties to fulfil their potential. This is the magnificent 28-litre Beast of Turin. Come and have a look at this absolutely colossal thing, 28 litres, and then this, these massive exhausts coming out the side of the engine here, which spit fire. If I was actually standing here when this thing was going, I'd be cooked. Let's so come and have a look at a couple of details on this car. Just look at the chain running so close to the wheel here. Look how thick that has to be to take the power from that massive engine. And then inside, look how teeny tiny these seats are. There's actually two seats here. It's amazing, you have to be very trim to fit in there. And then of course we've got the gears on the outside and the, and the handbrake. Imagine wrestling this steering wheel as you go round Goodwood. See this out on track in a little bit. The magnificent Bentley Speed 6 behind me here, six and a half litre brute, makes you very proud to be British. And these Bentley Speed 6s rolled home in a 1-2 at Le Mans in 1930. Just imagine one of these thundering towards you, or in fact being behind you, lights on down the Mulsanne Strait massive great things. And what's interesting about the, that year at Le Mans, there are only 17 entries and out of those 17, the two winners were these Bentley Speed Sixes. Just look at the size of these Blockley tyres. They're huge. We can imagine on a wet track what they must be like to sort of wrestle with as you go around corners. Now, if you head over to collectingcars.com, you'll see that we like to support numerous charities from donated items and experiences. And recently, we auctioned two very special lots. The first auction prize was flying laps of Goodwood Motor Circuit in the iconic Harrods McLaren F1 GTR. And driving our auction winner around the circuit is none other than Derek Bell, who took this iconic car to third place at the Le Mans in 1995. And the second auction winner will be driven around the Goodwood Motor Racing Circuit in a Ferrari 250 GTO replica at the hands of Damon Hill. I'm joined now by Chris Bucknell, who is the organiser from V Management of this wonderful event, Veloce 2021. Chris, thank you ever so much for having us today. We're Our thrilled pleasure. to be here. Pleasure. Tell us, how did the event come about? Well, it started when V Management was approached, or we were approached by a fantastic collector and philanthropist, Peter Newmark who had a little event running um, in Anglesey, yep. where he had his fabulous collection taken out every year and raised you know, good money for charity, selling spots, taking the cars around the track, and wanted to take it to another level. So he came to us, we put our heads together and thought, how can we make the best charity track day in the world? There's only one venue for it, yes. Edward, uh, and decided that by combining some famous racing drivers with some of the greatest cars in the world, was the recipe for making good money. Yeah, of course. And here we are four years later and we've topped £150,000 this year and half a million pounds overall since 2017. That's incredible and, and two very worthy causes as well. That's right, yeah. The first is Hope for Tomorrow, um, supported by a number of the drivers who come and drive for us. Derek Bell, Mourinho Franchetti, um, uh, Ross Braun and many others. Uh, they provide uh, mobile chemotherapy units. Yes. Uh, and the other is uh, Damon's Charity, which is uh, uh, the Haley Foundation, and they look after children with learning disabilities. 
fantastic. And how many cars have we got here today going around the track? 21 cars, three groups of seven, and they range from 1901, 60 horsepower Mercedes, to a Q1 and we have everything in between. It is a fantastic grid of cars today. We're very privileged to be here. And if people want to get involved, if they want to uh, sponsor the charities or indeed attend next year, how do they do that? Where do they go? The best thing to do is to take a look at our website, uh, v-events.co.uk, and all the contacts and the links are there. Fantastic, Chris. Thank you very much. And of course, if you want to donate to either of the charities, we've got a link in the description of the video below. This is a thing that boyhood dreams have made of, the Jaguar XKSS. Just imagine seeing Steve McQueen thundering around the Hollywood Hills in his XKSS. What a sight that would have been. But we've got this here today, so we're looking forward to seeing it out on the track. And then directly behind the XKSS, we've got the Jaguar D-Type, from which the XKSS came from. And you can hear that just start rumbling up behind us. We'll take a quick look at the D-Type though, because of course this has the famous dorsal fin on the back of the car. Over the other side, we can see the 911 RSR with the Wally's jeans livery. That looks fantastic. Let's take a look at these cars in the pits. Which one would you take out if you had the opportunity? Let's go and have a look. A couple of fabulous AC Cobras. These guys have been actually thrashing it around today in preparation for Revival, which is next week. Come down further on. I mean, does it get any better in terms of the Ferraris down here? Keep coming. Ferrari 250 GTO. Next to the beautiful Jaguar D-Type. The C-Type with Damon Hill sat in, in the driver's seat there. Let's quickly get down to the rest. Then we've got the familiar Harrods livery again of McLaren F1 GTR, which we saw earlier on. If you could go out in any of these cars, which would you choose? Let us know in the comments below. I'm going to speak now very quickly to Melvin, who's the lucky winner of the auction we had on collecting cars for the ride with Derek Bell in the McLaren F1 GTR. So Melvin, you've now had your hot laps in this magnificent car. Tell me what that was like. Oh, oh, it was amazing. I, mean, I, I was a bit surprised how, uh, how, how excited Derek was. He pushed on a bit more than I thought, actually. I was very impressed. Yeah. He did tell me he'd uh, not driven the car for 25 years, so I'll, I'll, I'll believe him. And you're very familiar with speed and fast cars because you used to work for ProDrive and had the opportunity to sit as a passenger with people like Colin McRae. So how does this compare uh, to a rally car going around in the McLaren with Derek Bell to being in a, a rally car with Colin McRae? Yeah, I, I guess it's a bit more finesse, dare I say, from, uh, from Derek. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have been in the car with Richard and Colin uh, on gravel and on tarmac. And, uh, they're both interesting sensations, I guess, when you're in a rally car and you've got trees about four feet away from you, yes. just concentrate the mind. <laughs> a little bit sure. more chilled out today. Uh, slightly more relaxed. <laughs> well, I'm glad you've had a fantastic time and it's raising money for great causes. So, yeah. uh, two wonderful uh, things, you having that ride and then, of course, raising money for the charity. So, uh, well done and uh, thanks for talking to us. Well, thank you very much. Really great day. What an incredible day we've had here today at Goodwood Motor Racing Circuit for Veloce 2021. We've seen some fabulously rare cars, raised lots of money for charity, and we've been blessed with the sunshine. If you'd like to donate an experience or a collectible automotive item for a charitable auction with collecting cars, then please do get in touch. And if you'd like to support either of today's two charities, then there's a link in the video description below. Thanks for watching and see you soon.